if you only been fed lies, yeah, then the truth always appears as the lie, and the lie is the truth. May we say that now in the world we have uh, two big forces, darkest one and lightest one of forces of light, and they are fighting. If we don't wake up, I feel like we're going to destroy the world. Yeah, I look at humans as children. I'm just a feeler. I feel everything. After this experience, you still uh, identify yourself like a human. So stop looking for the answers outside of you. The intelligence of love mm -hmm. surpasses the intelligence of the brain. Everything, we have it inside of us. Добрый день. Я Станислав Бартникас. На моем канале все про энергию, саморазвитие, поиск себя, духовные практики, рост. Сегодня у меня в гостях интересный собеседник. Мы будем общаться по-английски. И давайте начнем. Hello, Johnny. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Thank you for having me on your podcast. You're welcome. Uh, always welcome. Uh, I have to say that uh, this is my, this is not my first podcast, but this is my first podcast in English. So bear with me, please. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm glad I'm the first one in English. So here. <laughs> uh, so uh, we met, uh, I know what you do, but it's still, it's, um, yet it's challenging to introduce you in the proper way in one word. Uh, how you usually introduce you, who you are? I can say from my side that you are mm, a light bringer. So you bring the light to the world, to the people. Do you agree with these words or maybe you have your own explanation who you are? Yes, I do agree with what you're saying. I mean, one way or another, I feel, myself, I feel like I'm here to see where the problem is and create the solution. Yeah. So therefore, it's like I don't limit myself to, let's say, I'm an artist or that or this or that. You know, maybe one way to sum it up is like an artist of life. You know, it's like, yeah, mastering the art of life. Sounds brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember that uh, you have uh, an, an interesting uh, spiritual experience uh, in your past, uh, maybe 10 or 20 years. Yeah, uh, and after that you mm, became another person, totally Correct. another person. Yeah, can you share this experience with us? Uh, is it possible? Very interesting because <laughs> so many. Maybe it's time to do. So it. many have tried to actually get me to share this experience, and I never really did. I remember once I did it, and then basically. Luckily, we had the recording of it, and we, my <laughs> managing team, they decided to trash the recording. But <laughs> and the and are you, the are you afraid? and the podcaster definitely got so pissed because yeah, because they never got their recording afterwards. But uh, I feel like by now, I'm ready to share it. Maybe because this is going to the Russians, and maybe no one will find it. <laughs> <laughs> will translate but we can remain it in english as well <laughs> <laughs> so so yeah i mean definitely i never really spoke about this um out loud or this was always my secret uh, but uh, maybe it's time to share it yes so yes i did have an out of this you know out of this world experience yes and that uh, helped me understand that we only see or know a fraction of what is really real. Yeah, a lot of it is made up belief and it's like almost we are replaying a recording of our belief system, not what's really there. Yeah, so we end up it's limiting. Kind of re reframing, right? Because we, we have, a, uh, sometimes people have uh, the sign like, like this. Yeah. Like horse. Yeah, exactly. Remember? Yeah. And it's difficult to understand, to see a whole picture. Yeah, exactly. And I believe by now, I believe at this point in our history or in our whatever you want to call it, evolution, it's time for people to wake up. You know, because if I don't wake, if we don't wake up, I feel like we're going to destroy the world with our limitations.
So it's really important to break the limitation, even though if it's challenging, because it's very hard to change. Because this that we are doing right now, it's been, we've been molded into for thousands of years. This is not just the production of what happened yesterday. Mm -hmm. This is the production of thousands of years in the making. It's very hard for people to change, you know, mm -hmm. even though they really need to change to fix their health, to fix their life, to fix their everything. But no, they continue doing the same, same over and over because they're afraid. So um, really, it's like, so like, yeah. So but when kind of like something like what happened to me 20 something years ago, challenges everything that you know about reality. It's it's afraid. It's it's even it's like you know I was I remember like I was very afraid. I was very fearful of what happened mm -hmm. because even though I experienced magic, I experienced the wildest dream. Un I, you know, unearthly, unearthly experience. The next day, I just wanted to forget it. I just wanted to say no, 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 no. Everything that happened was not real, and I need to go to my meeting and make my million. You know, <laughs> so because. Me thinking that this was real no. makes everything unreal. Strange, at least. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very strange. Yeah. <laughs> so please share, what what did you experience? Okay, I was on a business. Okay, I was on a business trip. Yeah, and from Seattle down to Los Angeles. Okay, it takes like almost 24 hour driving. Yeah, I was driving with my ex girlfriend, and um, I drove the first 10, 10 hours. And then I got tired and we switched and we were supposed to get to our hotel. Then, so my ex-girlfriend, she took on the driving. And then basically I remember, let's say, maybe waking up after one hour and a half as she was parking. And then I was like, oh, where are we? She's like, oh, the hotel was uh, closed and I couldn't check in because we got, in, we got there late. So basically, we're going to sleep in the car uh, in the parking lot of this uh, natural park, you know, in the foothills of, the, of a mountain. Yeah. So yeah, almost in the middle of nowhere. Exactly. Like yeah. This. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. In the forest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I was like, OK. And I remember just kind of like trying to kind of like get back in my seat. And as I'm getting back in my seat, these two light beings, they just appeared out of nowhere, came, in the, came inside the car. One hooked me from this side, the other one hooked me from the other side. And they took me out of the car as if there is no car. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And we were like floating, levitating in the forest at the speed of light. Literally, I was like, what is happening? I could not really comprehend any of it. Yeah? And then I'm like, OK, 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 great. We're about to hit the mountain, you know? And instead of hitting the mountain, kind of like a light doorway, gateway opened up inside the mountain. Like, and we, like, a, like a hole? Yeah. Or, or a door? I, I, just like it was light, you know, it was uh -huh. like lots of light, you know, and we were like just going through it, you know. And I was like, okay, cool. Uh, we didn't hit the mountain. I thought I'm going to be flat. <laughs> you know, I'm like, so we got through the mountain and then we like traveling through this portal, you know, this like light portal, you know. And, and I'm like, nothing makes sense. You know, I'm like, I'm just terrified. You know, I'm just, <laughs> I just want to cry. <laughs> and, and then all of a sudden we like got into this, all of a sudden like we, another door opens up, kind of like in another gateway, another light gateway opens up and we, and we get spit into this other world. Yeah. And then I'm like, I'm looking around and I'm like, this world doesn't look so strange. I feel like I always been in this world, you know, I always like dream, you know, when I dream, I go to this world. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, and I'm in there and I'm just looking around and I'm seeing the most beautiful, most magical. I'm like, if there was heaven on earth or this, the idea of heaven, then this is heaven, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> because all the structures, all the buildings, they were made out of almost crystals, yeah? I feel, I feel a lot of goosebumps right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it was like, <laughs> you know, it, was, it was like this. It like, was like everything was like made out of crystals, the most beautiful temples, the most beautiful structures. Like, and then the water was like coming from everywhere. 
and it, everything had this shine, you know, all the plants, they were shining, everything was just full of light, you know. Mm -hmm. And then I met these long, tall beings, yeah, with long, almost, I don't know if it was white hair, but it's like almost like everything was so shining, everything was shining, yeah. Piercing blue eyes, you know, just like, and they were really tall. And basically, they took me into the, and everyone was welcoming, was so happy to see me. I was like, okay. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I was like, I didn't know I was so famous there. <laughs> I was like, I was like uh, and then they like showed me my home, showed me three jar, jar like, I don't know, they showed me so much, you know, I'm like mm -hmm. talking a lot of detail right now that I'd never shared, you know, but, and then they told me a lot of things, yeah, and I cannot really talk to tell you what they told me, um, and, and then basically that they, yeah, I don't know, like, it's like uncomfortable for me to talk about details because I never really shared this, you know, because it felt like it was always like a top secret thing. It was like happened to me and it was only me that... It's up to you, of course. But yeah. The, because, but the whole story is interesting anyways. Because I tried to bring other people to it and then I realized at the end that this was no only for me and I was the only one allowed to go into this uh, place, yeah. But me, stupid me, I thought like, no, it's for everyone, you know. So I just was like, kept like going and bringing my friends over. And then they're like, can you, can you, can you try it to bring uh, your friends? I try to bring my friends but over, but no, 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 no only me. It only no opens ah. up to me. That's it. That's only me allowed. Only, you know. Can so you, can you try to go uh, to, uh, to get there uh, another time? But yeah, yeah, I did. I did. I did. I did. Because, you know, my... Was it, was it successful? Yeah, yeah. Ah, so yeah. you've been there... Uh, many times. Many times. Yeah, ah. yeah, exactly. This was, this was the beginning. So basically afterwards, I was brought back into the car, okay? And as I was coming back to the car, I get in the car and then I'm trying to touch my ex-girlfriend. You know, like that, but I felt like me moving from my hand from here to there, it took like an hour, you know? I'm like, <laughs> mm -hmm. I was like, we're we gonna get there. And then once I touched her, she started screaming. And I was like, why are you screaming? <laughs> I'm the one that is terrified. She's like, yeah, I'm sorry, really, I'm sorry, really. I was like, what did you see? She's like, I saw, I saw them. They came in the car. They took you out of the car. Mm. And then after this, I was on top of the car, levitating like this. I couldn't go anywhere until you came back. I went back in the car and, and I saw the light disappear. And then once you touched me, everything was gone. And I was like, no f way. I cannot believe this. I need to make it to this meeting. <laughs> In LA. I'm like the only thing in my head. It's like I've been working on this project for six months, and I need to go and make my money. <laughs> so you were, you were a usual uh, business owner, or yeah, I had my fashion collection, and I was finishing a deal for uh, Bloomingdale's at that time. I was like working on my million dollar deal, you know, for six months, and now I feel like everything is getting ruined with this experience. So for me. I like fell asleep, like maybe in like two minutes or like one minute after the experience. Mm -hmm. I woke up the next day going like, none of this is real. No, none of mm -hmm. this is real. It I was a, to, just a dream. It just, was just, just a dream. I need to go and finish my deal. Yeah. And then as I'm doing this, I run into this guy that's like the, the park keeper. And he's like, are you okay? I was like, no, I'm not okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to get out of here. He's like, what happened to you? I was like, what happened to me? What is happening here? He's like, it's just normal. I was like, he, he sounded like, I don't know. He's like trying to like tell me like everything is normal, you know, like don't worry about it. I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay. He looked like he was <laughs> crazy as well. I was like, I need to get out of here. I need to go to LA immediately and do my business. And then basically we drove to the town. I was like, okay, let's get a cup of coffee and run out. Mm -hmm. So as I'm walking down the street, I hear this voice. I never hear a voice. This voice is like, go into the shop. I was like, 
I look at my girlfriend, I was like, did you just say go into the shop? She's like, I didn't say anything. I was like, I look at the shop and I'm like, this shop is like esoteric shop with crystals and magic stuff. And I'm like, I never go into something like this. I was like, okay, let's go. It feels like I have to go in there. So I go in there and I'm like, why am I here? <laughs> and then I was like, let's go out. And then I see this picture, you know? And then I was like, do you know who's this? To my girlfriend, I was like, she's like, no. And then the shopkeeper, she comes out. She's like, yes, this is Atama. I was like, who the f who's Atama? He's like, he's the high priest of Talas. I was like, what is Talas? The city inside the mountain. I was like, ah, oh, I need to get out of here. <laughs> Let's run. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she made it worse. She was, she was scared. <laughs> yeah, she was like, she was confirming that what happened was real, you know? And there is a city inside the mountain because somebody else, other people experienced it. Because I then afterwards went and like was in the library for like six months trying to figure out what is this? What just happened to me? You know? And then I realized that something similar to this happened to other people and they went inside the mountain and then there is a civilization, there is a city, there is... Anyway, and since then, lots of other things were happening to me. So yeah, this is... Then I made it to LA, and the first thing that happened, my girlfriend got out of the car and she broke her uh, ankle. Mm -hmm. And I, because she's important in the meeting, because she's like the one that sells the stuff, I make it, you know? And I was like, <laughs> So your, your promotion was <laughs> broken. <laughs> my, my promotion was broken, yep. So anyway, so yeah, this is how my life started to change. Uh, did you ask them? Uh... Who are they? Uh, what 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 did they want from you? Why you not <laughs> another person? Did you ask uh, such questions? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah of course. I asked a lot afterwards, you know, because and, and, and you know answers because they ruined my life, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, and now you know. Me? Now you know answers. Yeah, uh, yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. they say they said that uh, you are special and you have your own way or kind of kind of this or what. They said that I was one of them that decided to leave and come to this world to bring this message, you know, to... Uh, or using, uh, using you, or... Yeah, like, so basically I was... So basically when I was there, they showed me my home. They showed me my place. From where you... So like... Initially. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they tell me that this was me, yeah? Mm -hmm. I was... So this was my place and I decided to be on this special mission and leave yeah to come to earth to deliver this message when we're talking uh, you we mean uh, not you like uh, a body but you like a soul or like a spirit or... but apparently it's like it looks like I left my body there because I wasn't there with, anymore. With your girlfriend. Yeah, with my yeah, with my <laughs> girlfriend looks like, you know. And then I came over here, you know? Because when I went there they're like, okay, showed me my place, showed me all of this, you know, they showed me my position, they showed me my how they, they support me, how I have this. So because the thing is this the knowledge that I have, you know, it's because some people mm -hmm. they channel, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, but for me I don't channel. I just do it you know it's just within me so like all the information that i have is inside of me yeah mm -hmm. so i just need to remember it yeah so for me it's like it's been a journey of remembering not a journey of of channeling mm -hmm. yeah so that's the reason why i was like so when people are like oh you're a medium you're a channel i'm like no i'm not a channel you know i'm not, not you know, exactly not exactly i'm like for me it's like i came directly from that world to this world and I already know all of this and I'm just bringing it to this world. So. After this experience, you still uh, I, I identify yourself like a human or? No, I feel like um, spirit, yeah, that's, spirit. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like I never like feel like I understand humans or they understand me because I always see things in a different way. A different. Yeah, where I'm like going like, what's wrong with these people? Like they don't see that they're limiting their possibility. They're like just being stupid or they're just uh, being completely limited. But it feels like, no, this is just the way they see life. 
And I'm like, so like for me, I never really understood humans, you know, since I was this big, you know. So because f for me, I always spoke a different language, you know, when I was a kid. Yeah. I spoke this language that they speak because that's the reason when I went there, I was like, I understand everything. I know this language. So you understood them. Uh, yeah. I understood them better than anyone else. <laughs> so, I mean, I feel like I felt like I was like, finally, you know. So first I was scared. Because I was forced to dismiss all of this that I knew and everything mm -hmm. that I, w I was, you know, and like this language as like, oh, I'm possessed. Um, this is crazy. Shit. This is uh, you need to stop being crazy, you know. So I stopped being crazy, you know. So I became a successful business, fashion designer, creative, you know. And then when I stopped being crazy and I became a businessman and I'm like now driving my whatever nice car and uh, having my house on the beach and uh, being this successful where well, I proved to the to my to the people that I'm not crazy you know I'm a successful mm -hmm. person then I had to lose all of this and get back to being crazy again, you know? <laughs> get back to, uh, to my original self, yeah? So um, I feel like I always speak about humans as aliens, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, humans always see me as an alien. So, um, yeah, feel very so misunderstood. You, you, you were back to your natural uh, state. Yeah, Maybe. back to my uh, back to my nature. <laughs> the, back to your nature. Yeah. yeah, that was beaten out of me, you know, because like, no, no, you're not normal. You know, you cannot be like this. You 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 had no choice. I had no choice. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it, it it wasn't you who who came to this mountain by yourself. Yeah. They no. they they took you and yeah and show you the way and yeah. show you the light. Yeah, right? exactly. This is kind of like where I meet a lot of those masters and ta ta ta, and then I'm like, and how much they did, whatever, what, how much they tried to, you know, what, you know, their journey of getting to the say enlightenment or, but for me, I'm, I never really tried anything. I just was like, here, you have to do this. <laughs> it's like, I didn't choose it. It chose me. Yeah. So this is kind of like where I always kind of like hide at the end of the day, you know, because I'm like, I go and meet with the highest masters. I see through them. You know, and I'm like, okay, why are you trying to put this image? You know, like, why are you trying to be all the holy, <laughs> you know? I'm like, so the thing is this, when people are pretending to be something, you know, mm -hmm. they're stiff. They're trying to like put on a, a persona, an image. Well, for me, I'm like, it's just me. I cannot do anything about it, you know? It's like, I f I'm trying to hide it, actually. And then I go and, like, sit with those people, like, you know, enlightened people, and they're trying to, like, show how enlightened and how amazing they are. And I'm like, okay, nothing makes sense. <laughs> and then I go to all these people that are channeling the, you know, the side, the other side, and they speak in the line, like, and I'm like, Okay, <laughs> it's like, okay, <laughs> you know, people, you know, so I'm like, I'm like, yeah, where like things kind of like be conf they're confusing for me. I'm like trying to hide it and others are like, yeah, I'm me. I'm like, okay. I guess uh, it was scary to be yourself. It was for many, scary. For many people and for you. It's still same, scary same, for me same. to be myself. It is. What was the scare scariest thing? I, I mean, I don't I belong. Don't I don't belong, you know, no one understands me. <laughs> I don't belong. <laughs> it's like, I don't have a tribe to belong to. You know, I don't have anyone to belong to, you know, like I don't belong to anyone. It's like, I don't belong to Americans. I don't belong to the French. I don't belong to the Russians. I don't belong to the Arabs. I don't belong to this religion. I don't belong to that religion. I don't belong to anything. So I'm by myself. Because, because you're different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, do you know uh, from we, which uh, civilization this, uh, these people your ancients, I, I don't know, your, your how to say, 
relatives maybe my my my, my <laughs> your family <laughs> my family yes yeah. um okay i mean the thing is this now we need to go into let's say now the real history yeah because this is the thing this is the inf this is the problem with the reason why humans are so dumbed down is because we've been fed lies 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 literally everywhere everywhere how are you? I'm fine. Yeah, it's like, yeah, everything is lies, 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 lies. We learned how to master lying more than anything else. That's the reason why people usually are attracted to, towards the lies more than the truth. Yeah, you tell them the truth, they run away. It, I literally. don't believe, I don't believe. <laughs> yeah, you tell them the truth, they run away, okay, which makes sense. Yeah, because if you've only been fed lies, yeah, then the truth always appears as the lie and the lie is the truth yeah, and then vice versa yeah exactly everything is turned upside down yeah and then you're like wow why are why are humans so conditioned to be dumb yeah like to be maybe and then you think of it you're like okay you look look at you people you're only able to use two three percent of your capacity and if you're using two three percent of your capacity you're superman you know and I'm like, uh, hold on a second. Isn't this an enough indicator for you to know that you've been dumbed down? You know, mm -hmm. that there's something majorly wrong, yeah, with us. You know, that now we have to create AI to do our lazy yeah. freaking yeah. and become better than us, more superior than us, instead of actually being yourself. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, use our potential. Exactly, enhancing our potential, yeah, in becoming our 100%, yeah, instead of constantly looking outside, yeah, because everything is turned inside out, you know, and so therefore it's like we're not able to empower ourselves, we're constantly looking at others to either take from them or empower them or like it's always playing the game on the outside, never inside, yeah, mm -hmm. so therefore it's like, yeah, the real history is not told, yeah? The real history is basically hidden away, yeah? And people wonder why few controls everyone. Well, because these few are the ones that are keeping their real history, yeah? And they watch... They, they, they know more. Yeah, <laughs> They course. know the truth. Yeah. And they're just watching, they're watching the rest of you like those characters in the video game, yeah? And they're just <laughs> playing us like video characters, yeah? Avatars. Like, yeah, avatars, exactly. So when you go back to the real history, you know, sometimes they talk about Atlantis and Lemuria and like, you know, and it's like until now they don't know how the pyramids were built or any, you know, lots of these ancient artifacts, you know, and how they were put together all together, yeah? I mean, right now with our technology, we're not able to actually realize it, yeah? So therefore, it's very easy to realize that, you know what, the technology that was available before was more advanced than what we have right now. But since we are living in a lie, you know, and our, our attention is so short, yeah, that we're only limited. able to, yeah, yeah. exactly, because, because, yeah, again, it's like we're dumbed down, limited, yeah? So therefore, it's like, it's very hard to tell people the truth. It's very hard to tell people where I come from. Because if I tell you where I come from, and what is my real family, you know, and what is the origin of this language, then I'm telling you the truth. Then I'm telling you the real history. And if I'm telling you the real history, I might be pissing off a lot of people that are trying to keep the real history away from the rest of the people. Because otherwise, knowledge is power, yeah? So if you really know, I mean, look at humans, you know? We're like in this spiral, yeah? And maybe we are like in the middle of the spiral or at the end of the spiral or at the bottom of the spiral. We don't know because we don't know where we came from, yeah? So if you don't know where you came from, of course you don't know where you're going. And if somebody, somebody comes in, yeah, and somebody now comes and tells you, look, you came from here, you're going there. Wow, now you took them outside the box. Now you just showed them the truth. Now they're like, f you, you, my enemy. You telling me the lies. You trying to confuse me. You're, trying you're crazy. To, yeah, you're crazy. I'm leaving. So, it's it's very hard to really speak to the ignorant. You know, it's you're just wasting your time. So at the end of the day, I, that's the reason why I never shared this story. Yeah, because they're like at the end of the day, people are just going like, okay, this guy's crazy. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah making things up.
He went inside the mountain. How the f do you we're do a, that? We're at doctors. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bring him to the mental hospital. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so therefore, it's like, actually, no. I don't want to sit there and tell you I'm the whatever. I'm just gonna show you, you know, because I believe this is the best way. Just action. Take action. Show them the difference, you know. Show them that basically we're missing out on 99% of life, mm -hmm. literally. Mm -hmm. Now you know more, and uh, since this experience, you try to um, take this light, uh, take this uh, um, uh, understanding, and uh, bring them to people, right? Yeah. So you started to create some uh, interesting project with, uh, with the light, literally light cabins, your light cabins, a AOI. Correct, yeah? yeah. And could you please uh, uh, tell more about it? Because uh, that's interesting. You, you um, found yourself. By such experience, thank you for your sharing because it's it's interesting. Uh, not only interesting, it, it's critical. Uh, it's very important for many people because some people will not understand, will not um, believe in this. Pretty sure that there are a lot of people who knows uh, what what are you talking about, who feels it uh, exactly li like me uh, right mm -hmm. now because. For me, it's it's kind of obvious. Mm -hmm. I never been there to the in this mountain, but I can imagine that it's possible. Mm -hmm. I can maybe I can see it in my dreams or mm -hmm. somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, so you started your project, uh, your uh, how to say physical project mm -hmm. to bring the light to people. Mm -hmm. How mm -hmm. how it works? How how it uh, affect? Well, basically, it's really. Simple at the end of the day. It's really simple when you are seeing life from a different angle, from a different perspective, yeah? So if you go back to what atom is made out of, yeah? The atom is 99% space, yeah? What exists in this space, yeah? If you just kind of like want to reflect on it from a simple mind, yeah? You look around, what travels in space? Light and sound, okay? So what really occupies the space is the light and the sound, yeah? Mm -hmm. So now, in my experience, we broke through the mountain. We went through the mountain, yeah? Uh, something that is impossible in the physical, yeah? So how did we do that? How did they do it, yeah? Well, they did it because they master the real knowledge. Their real knowledge is mastering sound and light, yeah? Because when you master sound and light, you realize that 96% to 97% of our DNA is actually made of sound and light, yeah? This is the main components of it, yeah? This is what controls it. Now, when you go a bit further, yeah, you realize that each cell produces 0.07 watts of electricity, yeah? We have 37 trillion cells, yeah, at 0 0.07 watts of electricity, you should be able to shoot thunder, yeah, but you're not shooting thunder, yeah, <laughs> and the reason why you're not shooting thunder is because you're not feeding your body, yeah, the, the, the food, with the right food, yeah, yeah, the food that will allow you to produce thunder, yeah, because one thing that I realized that they do down there yeah, or like up there, whatever you want to <laughs> refer to it, is they feed themselves light and sound frequency. Yeah, this is what happened to me. I, every time I go there, they put me into this chamber where I get fed light and sound, yeah? And every time I get fed light and sound, my DNA advances, you know? It activates, yeah? So I realized that this is how you create superhumans, yeah? Because these people are just us in a different time zone, 
You know, us that didn't get interrupted by all this pollution that has happened to us and all this manipulation that has that we went under. Yeah. So basically, now to return back to our original self, to our magical self, to our superhuman self, to our divine self, we need to feed ourselves the, right, the, the right food of the superhuman. Yeah. Of so therefore, it's basically what I'm doing in the chambers is I'm feeding people that. You know, so as they're getting fed this, yeah, they go through different stages. Yeah, the first stage is you need to free up your DNA from all the information, all the programming, yeah, that all, has all, gone all, 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 on. All the rub rubbish. Exactly. Because all this is like literally toxic, yeah, information. It's all toxicity, yeah. So, because this is the thing, it's like, uh, in my, I'm writing a book right now. It's called "Reoccupy Your Body," yeah, and it's about showing people how to reoccupy their body, yeah, because we're so fixated on getting the land, getting the house, getting the girl, getting the whatever, getting everything outside of us, occupying the world, yeah, but we never really occupy ourselves, you know, we're empty inside, yeah, because we don't know how to do this, yeah, but, but if we focus on occupying ourselves. Man, it's so much better than getting anything outside, you know? Anything outside ends up being an interruption, you know? Ends up being a blockage. <laughs> yeah, it, it, and it takes a lot of resources. Yeah. Physical and emotional everything. and area. Yeah. Exactly, and then you have to keep it, yeah? But if you bring it inside and you occupy what's inside of you, then you never lose it, you know? You expand, yeah? Because the thing is, like, we did, they don't understand that we're limiting ourselves in every way. We're limiting ourselves with our age span because we're not really just meant to live for a hundred years. We are meant to live for a thousand years plus, yeah. But uh, that's true, yeah. Yeah, but how do you dumb us down? You know how? You know if you only have one hundred year experience, yeah, and you die, yeah. So it's like really, it's like life gets so much better after forty because you are so much wiser, you know. But physically, now you cannot perform. You get, you get weaker. Yeah, you get weaker. But I think this is all an illusion, yeah? Because for me, it's like this is exactly what happened with AOI. I started reversing time, yeah? So like now my physical performance is much better than when I was 16, 17, 18, yeah? And I'm enjoying life. And and, and, and now, yeah. now you're about 40, 45? 45, 45, 45, yeah. Yeah. 45, but literally I overperform my everyone, you know, it's like I have endless energy. <laughs> it's like, yeah, my strength, my ability to do everything, sprinting, all of that is like, it's just like time is an illusion. Yeah, it's like time basically. But the thing is, is it's real as well, because what ends up creating the time is the package. Yeah, the package that you're carrying. Yeah. So more the more your memories are real yeah mm -hmm. the more they're sitting there in your dna and your cells and blocking the communication yeah mm -hmm. because it's all about enhancing the communication because you know you as you're getting old yeah what happens is this the communication slows down the communication breaks down you know, between cells between yeah between cells yeah between, between your cells or organs your organs your joints your bones your everything yeah so when the communication slows down, yeah, you slow down, yeah. So it's all about enhancing the communication, enhancing the communication between your cells, between, and then you come to realize that the cells are communicating with each other through light photons, yeah. So the light passes through your finger and arm, into your heart, into your lung, into your brain, brain and it's carrying the information, yeah. It's carrying the information from the tip of your finger to that brain cell, yeah? And now, the better the communication is between your tip, the tip of your finger and your brain cell, well, the better your performance, yeah? The more you are aware and the more you're capable of carrying on the different tasks with no interruptions. So the real interruption really comes from you believing that you've been living for 50 years and you're getting old now and you have so much memories and you have so much pain and you have so much 
heartbreak and you have so much disappointment. A lot of this stuff, yeah. Uh, you know, and you have so much memories of shit, you know. So first thing is you need to clear all of this. Yeah. So you clear all of this and then the communication enhances. And then literally you're sitting there and rebirthing yourself. Yeah. How many sessions uh, do the typical uh, human need uh, to to clear clear up yourself in in your cabin? Well, the thing is, this there's it's stages. Di it's difficult to say. Uh, yeah, no, they are because there's stages. Yeah, it depends on how real you think life is or how real you think what happened to you is. Yeah. So the more you're affected by what happened to you, yeah, the longer it takes. Yeah, mm -hmm. because the point here is this. <clears throat> people don't realize that we have billions of brains. We don't just have one brain. Yeah? I mean, we can break it down to trinities. Hmm? You're the brain in your head, the brain in your heart, and the brain in your gut. Hmm? So these three brains, yeah? So let's say what happened to you, yeah? It registers in your heart different the way it registers in your head different than the way it registers in your gut, yeah? So now, if there is... There should be a mess. <laughs> yeah, and then it's a mess. Because, because the thing is this, if this doesn't agree with this, doesn't agree with this, then you are fighting. Eternal, uh, how to say, argument. Yeah. Yeah, you're sitting there going like... And it's, you know, and everyone is saying something different. No, you should have done this. Oh, I didn't do that. Oh, I'm glad that I didn't do it, you know? All of these arguments that are happening inside of your body, they are slowing you down, yeah? Mm -hmm. Slowing you down from getting to the next stage, yeah? Because now, once you are in agreement, hmm, then you're not sitting there questioning if I should do it or not. Yeah, because you know it. <laughs> yeah. You know, some people, they're like, how can you come up with the answer before the question is over? I'm like, because... I'm not listening to your question. I'm feeling the situation and what I'm in. Yeah, yeah. Um, my intelligence is beyond waiting for you to. So my feeling is is the answer. The feeling is the highest intelligence that we have. <laughs> this is the this is how dumb people are. You know, this is how dumb our society is. We sit there and limit the feeling, limit the feeling, limit the feeling, you know, like break it down. Oh, no, I don't need this. I don't need a husband. I don't need a wife. I don't need a girlfriend. I don't need, you know, emotions. I don't need love. I don't need this. I'm like, idiots, you're dumbing yourself down, you know? It's like you need to develop your emotions, yeah? Like the human interactions and relationships and all of this, this is helping you practice your emotional, yeah, muscle, yeah? And if you don't practice your emotional muscle, you become a dumb person. Sorry, you know, because this is the issue with our society. The issue with our society is that we have too many smart people. Yeah, yeah, too sitting, many smart sitting people. Here yeah, every every time. Exactly. That's the reason why it's it's an insult when somebody tells me, "Oh, you're so smart." I'm like, no, actually, I'm dumb. You know, I'm the dumbest that there is. Yeah, because I don't think. Yeah, really. You should be. You should be smart. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm dumb, okay? So don't tell me I'm smart, you know? I'm just a feeler. I feel everything, you know? So it's like, it's all about and, feeling. And, and, and you do something uh, through your feeling, or your yeah. feeling is like a beginning of your action. Yeah, exactly. exactly. If I don't feel it, you I'm d doing nothing. Nothing, really. I'm like, if, if my feeling doesn't move me, I'm not going to be moved, you know? I don't let my idea move me. No. This is the biggest mistake to do. Because when you are driven from your idea and your intellect, yeah, this way, you're going to lose, yeah? Because it's short-lived, yeah? Because it ends up being a lie at the end. Even though it's the truth, based on the law. Based on one plus one is two, you know? But then one times one is two as well. <laughs> correct. So you're like, hold on a second. How is that correct now? <laughs> Do you see what I mean? It's like we're constantly contradicting ourselves with what is real and what is not, you know? And we constantly, that's the thing. It's like when you really break down, you know, that's the thing. It's like 
uh, if you look at science, yeah? Well, science in the 1800s was wrong in the 1900s. Because it's here. Right? Yeah. Science in the 1900s was wrong in the 20th century, you know? So, so how science is the truth, you know? At the end of the day, we just keep finding a way to get the order through. So if uh, re before it was religion, God was the truth, you know? So then we're like, oh, you're being superstitious, you know? God, you know, where's God, you know? Give me hard facts. It's like, here's a hard fact. Now the hard fact that was in the 1800s is no longer applicable in the 1900s. So it's all temporary. We keep trying to lie to ourselves about how, you know, what is the status code and what is reality, you know? <laughs> it's like, I'm sure the Nazis, they thought they were doing the right thing, you know, and there was the right thing to do. Like now, Israelis, it's the right thing to do. But five minutes later, you realize, was that right? You know? Yeah, when I'm angry and mad and full of hate, it's right, you know? But now when I no longer that come, you're like, oh, what did I do? Maybe it's possible. Oh, yeah. Did I destroy life? But this is the thing. This is the reason why it's like, when humans are driven from their head, yeah, it's always a disaster. Yeah, yeah they, they made, made a lot of mistakes. I mean, it's full. Our history is full of mistakes. <laughs> in, 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 different, in different ways. Yeah. You know, now we're like, AI, AI, AI is the future. Everyone invest AI, AI. And you're like, oh, I just lost my job. <laughs> well, because of this. Yeah. AI, yeah. Uh, oh, soon we're going to lose everything, not just our jobs. AI is not a new idea. AI is an old idea, yeah? If you really read history, yeah? Mm -hmm. The real yeah, history, we found, yeah. you realize that they were creating AI back in the day, yeah? And robots and ta 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 because we always were trying to find a way to offload the weight of labor to others, yeah? But then they realized that when you create an intelligence without a feeling, you are destroying life. Mm -hmm. And this is exactly what we're doing right now. We are speeding up to destroying life for us and the future of every generation to come. That's the reason why right now with what I'm doing with AOI, you know, it's AOI, yeah? There's a big O in between the AI. <laughs> you know? ah, that's, the, yeah. that's the idea. That's the idea. Destroy. Yeah. It's to this cut. connection. Yeah, exactly. Because the thing is this, if we don't bring this power and this intelligence back to us, mm -hmm. are we going to lose this? We're not going to lose future. because of nuclear. No, we're going to lose because of AI. Yeah, mm -hmm. AI is going to destroy us and show us how dumb we have been. Yeah, Because this is what, show, this is what AI should be showing us. If we lose our real intelligence you know our real intelligence is our emotional intelligence mm -hmm. you know not our iq is our eq you know and it's like this it's like if you don't feel good it doesn't matter what happens you're not gonna be happy yeah mm -hmm. it's about how you feel hmm? at the end of the day it's not about what they just filled your head up with yeah it's like at the end of the day, it's just weight headache <laughs> Uh, Jenny, following this uh, this uh, topic, this discussion, uh, may we say that now in the world, uh, on the earth, we we have uh, two big forces: uh, darkest one and lightest one of forces of light, and they are fighting. Mm -hmm. So when we are talking about uh, AI, uh, who who produces it? Who promote promotes it I not, mean, not, know, not, not me because yeah. I don't like AI because yeah. I, I don't feel the soul there yeah, in, in exactly. this in these technologies you don't you hate it too not yeah. maybe hate but I find find it to be it's yeah, like danger, yeah, we're dangerous. destroying ourselves yeah. yeah yeah we are creating our worst enemy you know basically so who the, are they who are they who they, prom the, ones that are, the ones that are robots no I mean the humans that are actually hurt the most, the humans that are insecure the most, the humans that are in the most 
pain, yeah? And they're not willing to deal with their pain and they leave the heart, leave their emotion, and they go into their head, yeah? Mm -hmm. And then they go into being control freaks. They want to control everything, yeah? Mm -hmm. It's like, at the end of the day, AI is not serving the poor, yeah? It's serving the rich, yeah? It's serving the people that want to control everything, yeah? Because they don't feel secure, yeah? They don't feel secure being among their brothers and sisters, the rest of the humans. So they're building bunkers and the houses uh, and nowhere, yeah? Away from everyone, yeah? Taking everything, you know, all the food, all the, like, look what happened in Corona, you know, like, people like, there was no more food in the shelves, yeah? Because everyone's like, we need to, we need to take care of ourselves, you know? We need to secure our life. I mean, when you go into, when you lose, okay, there is a reason why we are a community. There is a reason why we are a bunch of humans, yeah? Okay, maybe we live, you know, maybe we're living in different parts of the world. Maybe we speak in different languages. But love is beyond all of this, yeah? Because you can love someone that you don't speak their language, you know? You can love someone that is living thousands of kilometers away, yeah? And feel totally connected to them totally with them, totally one with them. So therefore, it's like, it shows you that love, the intelligence of love mm -hmm. surpasses the intelligence of the brain, yeah, of the... So that's the reason why it's like, I don't look at... I really, I look at humans as children, to be honest, you know? So that's the reason why it's like, I don't sit there and go, oh, it's them, the evil ones, or oh, them. No, it's them, the insecure ones. It's them that are the most hurt ones. It's them, the babies, the, ch the, the hurt children that are hiding in big bodies, yeah? It's them that are not willing to deal with their heartbreak. It's them that are not willing to deal with their emotional disability, yeah? It's them that wants to be strong while they're really weak. So it's like, all these people that are pretending to be? Yeah, some. Yeah, this is the problem. It's not that label of evil or devil versus God or light versus dark. I believe dark and light is, this is the thing. It's like the world that I come from, we master dark and light. We understand that you need negative and to positive to, to, to create to, to, electricity. To feel, to feel different, yeah. at least. Yeah, exactly. So if you want to be intelligent, yeah, you need to understand what your, what the other side is feeling, what the other side is thinking, yeah? So if I just say, no, 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 you're different. You're this and I'm this, okay? You stand over there and I stand over here. You take a step forward, I'm gonna shoot you, you know? Well, you know, <laughs> this is dumb. This is being, living the illusion of separation, you know, that we are different. No, no, we're the same thing, yeah? It's like, think of it, you know, it's like, Oh, there's too many people on the earth, you know, we should like start eliminating them, you know. I'm like, no, there isn't too many people in the world. It's like when you look at India and there's like over one billion people, something people. And I've been to India many times and I'm like, uh, well, you know, look at America. We have so much more space, you know. Uh, you don't see another person for another like 10 kilometers of driving, <laughs> you know. So it's like, there's a lot of space actually on Earth, yeah. So the thing is this, I believe it's like the inside, outside, yeah. So it's like, we have 37 trillion cells inside of us. That means we have 37 trillion people inside of us, you know. Because these 37 trillion cells, they, each one of them is their own brain, is their own identity, yeah. And when you can govern this 37 billion, you know, trillion and put them into order, this is when you can shoot thunder, you know, because they all have to agree. Yeah, because if this cell over here doesn't agree with this one over here, problem. <laughs> You're not going to be able to do it. So, Jenny, how, how do you feel your mission uh, now and here? I mean, doing this project with AOI cabins, how do you... Uh, feel this mission and how do you uh, name, how can you name it to save the world, to save the humanity or, or how? 
I believe it's, uh, yeah, I mean, the reason why I'm doing AOI and I'm bringing AOI to the world is to wake the world up, yeah? Because the thing is this, yeah, yeah because we're asleep. Uh, we're, uh, yeah, <laughs> exactly. I'm okay. Yeah. Where is my food? <laughs> exactly, exactly. It's like we're all on this uh, waiting pill, yeah? Like waiting, whatever. We're all waiting for, waiting for the to best, be saved. For the best time, for the best yeah. opportunities. Exactly, exactly. And no one is really willing to live in the moment, yeah? And this is what AOI is allowing people to do. It's allowing them to disconnect from all their problems, from all their headaches, yeah? And come to be inside of their body again, yeah? Come to feel alive again, you know? This is kind of like what I realized, what I've been realizing. So many people come out out of the first session, go, wow, I feel alive again. I like, I now, I've, I forgot how to live. I forgot how to be alive, yeah? So it's very important to remind people of the essence, the, you know, of life, yeah? Mm -hmm. Because I feel like we've forgotten it, you know? And we for, when we forget it and we would dismiss it, then we end up becoming zombies, yeah? We end up, like, becoming this empty vessels, yeah? So we're so hungry, hungry for everything, for you know? For everything, yeah. Zombies. It's not enough. <laughs> it's not mm -hmm. enough. Exactly. We need more, more, more. Exactly. So basically, it's like if you can just fill people up, would love, you know, because I feel like at the end of the day, this is what everyone is missing, is missing love, yeah? Missing the love that they never gotten from their family, from their world, you know? Missing the love that they not able to give to themselves, yeah? So it's like, when you feed people real love, yeah? I believe this is how we can change the world, yeah? Because, and that's what AOI is for, it's like, Showing people how to love themselves again, and therefore, to start loving everyone else. This is, I've seen the most depressed, the most upset, the most negative people come out of there and be so optimistic, so happy, so loving, so forgiving. And I believe this is so important, yeah, to, to, to not dismiss enlightenment, you know, or love, or like, let's say this highest, because the highest being, you know, the highest state of, it's like to feel loved, and to, you know, when you feel like everyone loves you, mm -hmm. you don't feel like you need to do any, you know, it's like, why? Yeah, yeah. It's like, what's your point then? <laughs> you don't need wars. <laughs> yeah. Fights. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's interesting. Uh, I, I've been to, to your cabin several times. And the first one was uh, very impressive. I, uh, I felt the light, literally. I don't know how to explain it, but I, I saw the light, although my eyes were, were op uh, closed. Mm -hmm. but I, I saw the light everywhere in my body, in, uh, around me, etc. Also, I, I was dancing, dancing. Uh, uh, listening to your music and your voice, and and I saw some some people, some beings, mm -hmm. extraterrestrial, I guess, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. maybe you, your first time, and it was awesome. It was very resourceful. Maybe I I found myself then, not, not found, but but remembered to myself Reconnected, who, yeah. who 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 I am. Mm -hmm. that I'm not only the body. I'm not mm -hmm. a lot of. Uh, Name, uh, mm -hmm. profession, mm -hmm. so, etc. So that's that's interesting. I experienced the effect of uh, from from this um, from this light from your light. Mm -hmm. Maybe I, I I may say like this. But the, another interesting thing that after this uh, it was just uh, just once. Mm -hmm. After this, uh, I I felt just relaxation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, I, I didn't need more. I don't know. <laughs> No, no, exactly. What happens here is this. This is how it goes, yeah? So it's a journey, yeah? Mm -hmm. So you either see where you go into at the beginning, mm -hmm. or you basically start, you know, or you go through the journey and then you get there, yeah? So basically what, how it goes is this, yeah? So you connected with your, say like you now finally were, were able to make that connection, yeah? 
in this reality to your grander self, yeah? To your original self, yeah? yeah? Because your highest self, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the original self that you are, yeah? Like, which is the self that is full of light and frequency, vibration, yeah? And that is in harmony and sync, yeah? This memory is a file in your DNA. Mm? Mm -hmm. So you got to this file, mm? you like realize this is where I'm getting to, yeah? So now the next thing is when it starts reconnecting mm -hmm. your various parts of your body to that original self. Now, to that source. Yeah. Source. What happens is this: it just basically it numbs you. It doesn't. It doesn't give you any extra to work on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't give you any visions anymore. It just starts making you into the vision yeah mm -hmm. starts preparing you to it yeah and once that stage is over then you go into the next into the next into the next no the journey the journey does not ne ne never end. stops no really literally never stops that's the reason why i'm like when you ask me how what is the i mean the thing is this i've been doing it now for three years yeah like as much as i can you know now it's not always available to me because i travel a lot but I'm amazed because I'm the kind of person that gets bored after a few seconds, a few minutes, you know, because I already figured everything out and I'm out the door. Yeah. When you understand, when you realize how much, because the thing is this now, think of it this way. Now, our physical bodies and our everything that we're experiencing is literally maximum 3% out of the 100. Yeah. Now in there, you're going into there and you are rebirthing the dormant 97%, okay? Mm -hmm. That doesn't happen overnight, mm -hmm. okay? Some people want to sleep in there. They're like, okay, can I like stay 12 hours in there? <laughs> I need more, I need more. <laughs> yeah, I need more. But the thing is this, you do need more because the thing is this, what happens here is this. So like right now me, okay, I maybe eat... Okay, I eat one meal, yeah? I used to eat three meals, yeah? I used to eat three meals and full of, like, okay, I need to have this nutrition, I need to have this. Uh, ta -ta. So I used to spend a lot of money, actually, on all the supplements and nutrition and all this stuff that I'm doing, yeah, and I'm taking. And now I don't do any of those, yeah? I eat one meal and I have not double, not triple, not quite. I have... I have power, I have energy, I have um, focus, I have abilities that were dormant, yeah? Because now I'm like redeveloping my everything, yeah? The thing is this, it's like I remember like the, when I first was doing it and everyone was like coming back to me, they're like, oh, our nails are, you know, like one, one, one girl, she's like, she never really was able to grow her nails, yeah, since a while. She's like, my nails are growing again. I was like, okay, that's different, that's weird, you know, okay. And then I realized that my nails were really getting strong. And then I realized that my bones were getting really strong, you know. And then I'm like, hold on a second, what's happening? You know, like I'm trying to understand what is really happening. And then I'm like, my testosterone is like skyrocketing. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, I'm so, I feel so fresh. I feel like my blood is... Rejuven, you know, it's like getting reproduced or I'm like producing new red cells, you know, like and then based on our studies and what we saw is the light is literally is going through the layers. Yeah. So let's say think of it this way. Here's your skin. Here's your flesh and here's your bone. Yeah. So let's say life experiences, they end up getting stored in the skin. Yeah. So that's the reason why the skin start breaking down because the communication between your cells in your skin they get disrupted with this information, yeah? So you're cleaning your skin, and then you're going into your flesh, and then you're going into your bone, yeah? Because the light after the session continues traveling. I have people calling me after nine months, they're like, I just was able to get over my hang up that I couldn't get over, you know, from doing the first session while I was going to sleep. I just had another AOI experience, why? Because the memory is still there in the body, yeah? And the body is trying to digest it, trying to understand what just happened. So now, the more package that you have, the longer... The more interaction. Yeah. It takes, yeah? So the thing is this, 
Now, like my skin, like in my 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 hands, like I don't put anything on, you know, I don't, nothing, no lotion. And like everyone looks at my hands, they're like, "Wow, you look, you know, your hands look like they're twenty, you know." And then I realized that the reason why is because, let's say, my hands, let's say, they're not having the experience that my face is having. Yeah. So like my body, like my skin is like baby skin. Yeah, with nothing, I don't put anything. Mm-hmm. On my on my skin, but it's it's this because if the memory is removed, yeah, so therefore it's like the memory of my skin thinks that it's eighteen again, yeah, mm-hmm. but my face is constantly let's say interacting with people, yeah, that are reinforcing Enforcing. that oh we know each other for forty five years, you know. We, you have that much experience. So, so therefore, it's like it takes, let's say, the face the longest to until it adjusts to like, okay, now I'm 18 as well. You know, like, do you see what I mean? So, it's literally different stages. Yeah. So that's the reason why it's like, no, it's um, there is, let's say, you do it for 14 days, you get rid of something. You know, like some things. You know, you, you you let's say you offload a part of your package. Yeah part of the experiences and then you excel yeah so um, i replaced it with food you know so mm-hmm. yeah i remember you told, yeah. told them about it yeah so you don't eat yeah. you don't almost yeah. Yeah. yeah so i replaced it with food you know so it's like instead of uh, because i discovered that this is the best food after this world a lot of people uh, i guess uh, will be uh, you, you 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 will have uh, cues <laughs> to your cabins yeah yeah i mean the thing is this it's like i really want to make it available i really want to make it available to everyone yeah because i feel like it's our last chance to changing things to because the thing is this you cannot we cannot change the world unless we change ourselves yeah mm-hmm. so it's obvious yeah so therefore, it's like if I don't change you and you don't change me and we don't change each, you know, we don't change from the inside, nothing's going to change. Yeah. So people complain about 1% having all the wealth of the world. Yeah. But the pro- why is that? It's because this is the way we're wired. Because 1% yeah. controls the 99%. Well, yeah. yeah? Right. So how are you going to change the equation outside when the equation inside forces the equation outside to be the same, you know? It's like, we want only 1% to have everything because this is the way we're thinking. This is the way we're operating. So if we don't change this, you know, and give the power of that 1% to the 99% inside of our body, nothing's going to change. So, yeah. Thank you so much, Johnny. Uh, it's a pity we don't have more time to discuss today. Maybe we'll meet each other again someday. On a high note, is there a motto, a slogan, or a quote that you can share to the audience, um, uh, which can be most important for, for them right now, in, in this time, at this time, at this moment, from uh, what you understand about the world? the humanity my message would be stop listening to everyone and start listening to yourself you know start training yourself to trust yourself yeah Mm -hmm. because when you don't trust yourself then you're always looking for someone else to trust and most likely they're going to break your trust and you're going to be disappointed all over again So stop looking for the answers outside of you because our intelligence, the way we're created, all the answers, all the knowledge. We've got. We've already got. Everything. We have it inside of us. Yeah. Because this is how this works. Yeah. We're sitting here together. You're copying me and I'm copying you. We're making copies of each other. Do you get what I mean? (laughs) Yeah, yeah. We are sharing, you know, it's like basically you want to go and sit with the master because you want a copy of the master. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? To 
implement it, yeah? Because the thing is this, it's like you go in and sitting with the master of playing piano, yeah? Because you want to mirror mm -hmm. that master of playing yeah. piano. They have mastered, let's say, this energy, this connection internally that makes them into a master, yeah? So now by you being in their presence, yeah? You're, it's easier for you to copy, to yeah. mirror their information. So therefore, it's like, really stop looking for the answers outside of you. Listen to yourself, yeah? And then let that listening find, guide you. Find the master inside you. Exactly, exactly, yeah? Because there's so many people who are trying to find the guru, find the master, find this. At the end of the day, they don't find that. They find people that are pretending to be this that are willing to take your money. And that's it. Yeah, because real masters don't offer their time for sale, okay? They don't offer enlightenment for sale. They don't offer you healing for sale, yeah? Because they understand that the healing is done by sharing emotion, sharing the feeling, yeah? Sharing love. Mm? So therefore, it's like when you love yourself, you're able to connect with the world from love. And when you connect with the world from love, then all is available to you. Nothing is limited. Nothing is limited. No limits, no borders. No, no. It's only the borders and the limits that and exist they, in our yeah. head. Yeah. You know? So if you're coming from your head, of course you like sitting there going like, oh, I'm not going to do this because this is going to be the outcome. You know? Uh, you're outsmarting yourself. You see? That's what I mean. That's the reason why smart people are the dumbest people that exist ever. You know, so if you're still calling yourself smart, rethink about it. You know, rethink your <laughs> statements. You know. So let's let's be masters of ourselves. That's the message from Johnny. Exactly. Спасибо, Джонни. Был очень необычный и интересный разговор. Я надеюсь, что вы открыли для себя какую-то новую часть мира, досели неизведанную. И напишите, пожалуйста, в комментариях обязательно поделитесь своими эмоциями, ощущениями. Можно поговорить на эту тему, она неоднозначна для многих, но мой собеседник сегодня все объяснил. Thank you so much, Johnny, again. Nice to meet you. You are See super you. welcome. Thank you for having me. <laughs> you Спасибо. Спасибо.